Today we're getting our auras red, and none of us know what that means. Does Devin know? I love that I have become the person on this brand who knows hippie. Devin, what? tell us. I feel like this is a very popular trend on Instagram where you see beautiful self-portraits and around like the border of the picture, you'll see like a uh, color and it's like aura photography. But I don't know much about reading auras. This is obviously a trend. People are really into this. Obviously it's very fulfilling for a lot of people. We just know nothing about it. <laughs> Which is why we're making this video! Oh. I hope it says this video oh above our heads. <laughs> this video. I have several questions. Hit us with those questions, girl. How, what, and is real? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a great question for the expert in this video. Hi! Hi. Hello. I feel like you're reading my aura right now. I might be. <laughs> So I'm Lysandra, I have an aura photography company called Auraology, and we are the only company, uh, the aura photography company that does video as well. And I do pop-ups where I take people's aura photos and videos, and then I give them readings and I tell them what their aura means. So what is an aura? Wonderful question. <laughs> <laughs> so an aura is the electromagnetic field that surrounds your body. A healthy human aura spans two to three feet outside of your body, and it has seven layers. Your outside layer is called the mood layer, and that's the one that's easily affected. But the ones that are deeper in, they stay with you for a longer period of time, like unless you're going through a period of time when we're changing a lot. Okay, so our aura can be multiple colors, mm -hmm. and it's changeable. Yeah, actually the colors in your aura have different meanings depending on the position in which they lie. So you have your masculine side, which is on your right hand side, which is your recent past and what you've been putting out into the world. The left hand side, it's your future creation and your feminine side. So it's what you're receptive to. Then we have present moment and your goals. And then anything that shows up here on your face is kind of like what you project out to the world. Then you have your throat, how you communicate and your heart space, your core. I only read on the positive but I will talk to you about anything that I see that could that could potentially be something that you need to watch out for. Yeah, tell but, us. Warn yes, us. of course. Yeah, we want to know. We want to know all of it. We're really excited to get our auras taken. I'm excited. Pictures of. We're really excited to get photos taken of our auras. That's it. Time to do our news. Or news. Or news. <laughs> We're not doing news. <laughs> Different video. That's not this video. I'm excited. Well, let's go. Yeah, okay. yeah. Ready? yeah. Right, let's do it. All right. So we did it, that was like so quick. It took like maybe five seconds. I kind of walked in there, it felt like a cute little fent, or fent? <laughs> a fent. A fent. <laughs> so we walked into what looked like a pillow fort. Yeah. Very cozy vibes. <laughs> Put our hand on basically an electromagnetic field Thing. And what that is, it's a biofeedback sensor. It's taking the energy that's being emitted from your meridian points through the acupressure points of your hand through the sensor plate and turning it into a color interpretation of your aura. There's nothing that can actually um, photograph the aura, but this is pretty darn accurate. And then snapped a picture and that was literally it. Yeah, it was like a little first aid tent, but for our feelings. Okay. So I'm gonna go down the line, okay. and they have not, I have not done any sort of reading for them yet. Um, this is just them seeing it for the first time. I'm excited, <laughs> I'm excited and also curious. So we're gonna start with Devin. Oh Lord. And, <gasps> oh, wow. wow. There's a combination of a couple of colors that I'm reading. The past, present, future. Okay. Since you have kind of like a very consistent energy going on, I mean, it's just a very, a uh, strong period in your life. Oh, and cool. You have a good mixture of magenta and violet. Magenta is the color of the independent nonconformist. Oh. It's someone that has a big heart, a good sense of humor, and also you're creative. So that's all over you. <laughs> also mixed with some violet, which is your, your charm, your playfulness, your connection to universal energies or like um, your intuition. You have like a little bit of that like blue turquoise coming through yeah. that on your face. And 
that's how you introduce yourself to the world. The teacher, speaker, healer energies. Also, I mean, it's just a dope picture of me too, <laughs> which like you can't be mad at at the yeah, end of the day. Good. So how did my video go? Did it change colors at all? So you did have a couple of colors pop up in there. When you see it, you'll see like the additional notes and what's happening with those. A uh, color appears and it's not like so strong because your energy right now is very strong. So it doesn't like really shift on the video. You just have a little pops of a couple colors that come in. Either that energy is coming in or is fading. Wow, what I love most about this is it looks like I have a halo. I'm ready. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm blue. Okay, so it's That's not so just gorgeous. blue, it's okay. turquoise. You see how you kind of have like a lavender at the bottom here? So you have a balanced masculine and feminine. What you give and what you receive is kind of similar. And so when it's lavender-ish, that means it's the attributes of white and of violet. Violet is your charm, your play, your connection with your intuition and your vibes. You're in tune with your rhythms. Okay. And that, when it's mixed with white, that means it's a very pure thing for you to be attached to that energy so it comes from a pure place mm -hmm. and then you also receive that very well and then what's really fascinating is that like you have all this like turquoise that's like literally still on your masculine feminine side and in your present moment turquoise again is the teacher speaker healer you have healing capabilities about you but people come to you uh, to teach them and so this energy requires a lot of patience mm -hmm. because um, a lot more people are your students <laughs> than you think so uh, we have that is so true. Is there like a little bit of green here too? It's a little bit. When I see it in the face, it means that you like to position yourself with like kindness. Um, in a sort of nurture. Okay, good. I was waiting for you to turn to me and be like, no, no! no. Yeah, like, one of the things about your video, you do have a lot of the magenta, the independent nonconformist. You, you'll see it. So she decided to like do a little bit more of like a dance and kind of open up a little bit more. And when you open up and when you decide to like, just like breathe and relax, more colors pop out of you. Oh, that's nice beautiful. Bit. Thank oh. you. Now it's time for Shanti. <laughs> oh. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, it's like literally almost <laughs> the same thing. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Or a twin. <laughs> or a twin. A lot of the times I'll get people that come in with like sisters or really close friends and their auras are very similar. You are in good company with your friends. Even though it kind of looks the same, it's different. Mm -hmm. Your masculine side, what you put out here, it's it is magenta, which is the independent nonconformist, where you have um, your big heart and your creativity, and it's like, that's the personality, that's like what you give to people. But it has a little bit more pink in it than hers does, so the pink energy is receptive, it's flow, it's also a little bit romantic, so it's the open Ooh. heart. Shanti is a flirt, so like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the type of thing where I think I'm not, but then everyone tells me I am. Yeah. So I have to go with that. <laughs> being in the pink energy is, uh, is it's like being in green. Race. Mm -hmm. So like you give that to people, that ease. Mm. And then we come over here into your future side and your receptive side and you have more violet. When I see that in the future position, what's really cool is that means that you're calling in a time of manifestation. Your aura is not saying that you're ready to take action, it's like you're ready to receive. You also have a little bit of green here in your throat and that's the, the speaking with kindness and speaking with from a nurturing place. Aww. How nice, this is so fun. Well, I'm just a smiley little bean. Y'all's videos were like pretty pretty similar. I think you've had a lot of white pop up too. It's usually seen in somebody that either works with um, white light and protection or just somebody that has a lot of like protection around them. Chantel went first, then Kristen, and then me. So it's mm -hmm. not like the machine just spit out two of the same. No. Oh yeah, that. no. I was in the middle she of this. She was in the middle. It went one, two, three. <laughs> Make them kiss. Now kiss. Now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> this is super interesting because like actually everything you've said has been true about yeah. the things that we know about each other. Yes. So it's Very interesting true. to have you say this as someone yeah. who does not know us at yeah. all based on a photo. And yes. that's coming from the team skeptic, you know? I am. I, I am a skeptic. I, I am the person who's like, mm, is that real? Yeah. <laughs> but like everything you said is real. Like this, this syncs up. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Wow. I love knowing the energy that I put out in the world. It, yes. And I love thinking of it as a color. It's good, like you said, to know what you're sending out there. 
just so then you can make changes accordingly. The only thing I wish I could see in my aura, I would think, is just more money. You know? What? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the success? Where is the dollar? Manifesting. Where? This was this so was cool. So cool. I learned a lot. I yeah. know. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Lysandra. It was amazing. amazing. We got our auras read. Lady tested. Lady, Lady give us some aura. And some moolah. Yes, please. Money, please.